Hi guys, welcome. <clears throat> what happened to my voice there? <clears throat> welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Janelle Veronica and I post makeup videos twice a week on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. So if you absolutely love your makeup, make sure that you subscribe and join the family here in Makeup Land. For today's makeup, I have some Fenty Beauty, the Fenty Beauty primer that I'm obsessed with, absolutely obsessed. Some Juvia's Place, some L'Oreal, some Laura Mercier. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to be going in with the OPV Beauty Spotlight Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the palette looks like. A nice assortment of browns. You have some blues, some burgundies, some golds. So this is the palette that I'm going to be using to create the eye look today. So with that said, let me get to priming and let me get some makeup on my face. As I said, I'm going to go in with this primer that I'm obsessed with. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch primer I'm just going to work that into my face as you can see it blurs the skin my skin feels so soft it dries down a little bit tacky and I think that's what really holds on to the makeup and keeps the makeup in place throughout the day. It really is an instant retouch primer. And I absolutely love it. For my foundation, I'm going to go in with a Juvia's Place foundation. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation in the shade Dakar, which is 220. I'm just going to go in and dot that all over the face to blend the foundation now i'm going in with a real techniques sponge and i'm just going to pounce that in diffuse that foundation you know just making sure that i have nice even coverage all over the face All right, guys, so we are all blended out. Foundation, full coverage. As it says on the tube, it's a velvety matte foundation. It dries down, it stays in place throughout the day. If I could wear only one foundation for the rest of the year, it definitely would be the Juvia's Place foundation. I absolutely love that foundation. Look at it, so pretty. I'm going to go in and do some concealing and some highlighting. I'm not going to go too, too bright with my concealer today. I am going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. And I'm going to go in with the shade 420 Cocoa. I'm going to conceal my mustache. Highlight the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and then a little bit on my chin. As usual, I'm going to let my concealer dry down so that I get fuller coverage. I just love letting my concealer dry down. And I'm going to go in with another L'Oreal concealer, this one, this time in a darker shade. And I'm going to use that to contour. The same L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear, but I'm going in with the shade 445 Espresso. Around my forehead.
I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics number three brush and start to blend that contour out. When I get to my forehead, I work it backwards into the hairline. And when you're using that concealer as a contour, you really don't need a lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. So as you saw on my cheeks, I just put three, three small dots. And that was enough to contour my cheekbone area. All right, guys, so we are all contoured. I'm going to switch to a Cala sponge. These sponges, you can get them from calaproduct.com. They cost like, you can get like four sponges for like $12. They are so soft, and I absolutely love these for blending out my concealer. I'm going to start at my chin. Onto the forehead. And we're just going to pat, 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 controlling where that concealer goes. Down the bridge of my nose. Then onto the under eye. This concealer, it's a drugstore concealer, but trust me when I say it is one of the best drugstore concealers out there it's full coverage nice and creamy blends out like a dream all right we are all blended out and as i said in my last video i know sometimes that my lights can make it seem like if my forehead is over highlighted and sometimes not blended out properly but if i turn my head you can see that the forehead highlight is seamless so just ignore the lights for today i'm going to go in and immediately set my concealer down i'm going in with the lower mercier translucent powder in the shade translucent honey and I normally like to dip my sponge into the powder, dab the excess off, then go in and really press that powder in to set the concealer down. This powder just melts right in. And I'm just setting down all of the areas that I would have gone in with that L'Oreal concealer with the Laura Mercier powder. Look at how smooth that looks. That so beautiful. I'm going to set my forehead. My chin. I'm going to go in and set down the bridge of my nose where I highlighted. All right, so face is coming along on the eyes, smooth, buttery, full coverage, just the way how I like it. I'm going to go in and set the rest of my face now, and I'm going to go in with my Maybelline powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder in the shade 365 nutmeg. All right, so face nice and set. I'm going to go in and do a bit of bronzing. For my bronzer, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer 
in dark. This is such a good bronzer and it smells delicious. And to bronze, I'm going in with my Ashley Lee P04 brush. So we're just going to warm up the cheekbone area. Around the forehead. I'm also going to go in with that bronzer and just sculpt my nose out, contour the nose a little bit. And I'm really going to take my time and blend it so that the nose sculpting does not look harsh. I like it where you can barely even see it. Back over with my sponge to make sure it's nice, blend, nicely blended. All right, guys. So I did my brows off camera just to save a little bit of time. To prime my eyes for the eyeshadow, I went in with the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer in shade number two. And we're working from the OPV Beauty Spotlight Eyeshadow Palette today. So I'm just going to jump right in and create an eye look. I'm going to start by going in with my Morphe M434 brush. And I'm going to dip into this brown shade in the palette it's called dazzle night and i'm going to work that in my crease i'm just going in pattern motions applying it to the crease before i go in and blend it Just building up that color to the intensity that I want it. I'm also going to work it on the outer V of the eye, making sure to pull it upwards. All right, so that color is a nice, rich chocolate brown. I'm going to go in and blend the edges out. To do that, I'm going to go in with this. It's like a terracotta shade in the palette, that shade. And it's called Public Eye. And I'm going in with a BH Cosmetics number 8 brush. Just to soften those edges. I'm going to switch to my Morphe Bullet Crease Brush, which is the M321 brush. Go back into that dark brown shade and really intensify the crease because I'm going to clean up my lid with a little bit of eye primer before I go in with the lid shade. To clean up my lid, I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime in shade number two.
all right guys so i'm happy with that that's as even as it's going to get so i'm going to work with that today for my lid i'm going to go in with this gold shade in the palette it's called exhibit and i'm going to work that all over the lid and this is an elf flat shader brush that i'm going in with All right, guys, I'm just going to go back in with the dark brown called Dazzle Night and just make sure that I reblend the outer V of the eye. For my lower lash line, I'm going to dip into this even brighter terracotta shade. It's called Glimmer, that shade, and I'm going to work that on my lower lash line. All right, guys, so let me pop a pair of lashes on. You know your eyelet really comes together when you pop your lashes. When you pop your lashes on, I'm going to do that, come back, and wrap up the rest of my face. All right, guys, so lashes are on, and the eyelet, so cute. I have hooded eyes, so if I look down, you can barely see the gold. But if I tilt my head just a little bit, you can see how pretty that gold shade is on the lid for lashes i went in with the euler london definition full and bold false lash i'm going to put my blush on now for blush i'm going to go corally orange with the blush this is the palladio matte blush in the shade tipsy it's called tipsy and i'm going in with my royal techniques 400 blush brush All right, it's a nice, subtle, orangey, coral blush. I'm going to go in and highlight the inner corner of my eye. And to do that, I'm going in with the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in the shade 50 Watt.
Next, I'm going to go in with my favorite step in my makeup, which is to perfect my under eyes. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M554 Tapered Paddle Brush. So perfect for getting directly under the eyes. I'm going to dip into some of that Laura Mercier powder. I always shake the excess off. Then just go in and blend, perfect the under eyes. Blend it nicely into the blush that we have going on. All right, I want to highlight down the bridge of my nose. So I'm going to go back in with that LA Girl Strobe Light Powder. On the tip. Then I like to go in with my sponge and make sure that it doesn't just sit on the face. That it sinks in nicely. Nice. For my setting spray today, I am going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. That's it. That is such a name, but I love this setting spray. It makes your makeup last all, all day. It really is a really, really good setting spray. While that setting spray dries down, I'm going to move on to lips. I'm going to start by going in with my very short NYX lip liner in the shade Hot Cocoa. It's a brown liner. All right, and I basically just filled in my top lip and lined my lower lip as I usually would, just around the edges. For my lipstick today, I am going in with the Merit Beauty Signature Lipstick in the color Slip. It's a nice light brown shade. is so pretty I'm just going to top it with a clear gloss any clear gloss that you have will do will work all right guys and that is my makeup look all complete I hope you guys I hope you guys really like the makeup I am in love with the eyeshadow, so pretty. The lip just complements the eyeshadow perfectly. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit more blush on because I find sometimes when you set, the blush disappears. Perfect. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me for yet another video. As I always like to mention some of the products that I really, really enjoy, the Juvia's Place Velvety Matte Foundation. As I said, if I could only choose one foundation to use for the rest of the year, because I don't know what's going to come out next year and what I'm going to like, but I have, if I had to choose one, it would be this foundation. The L'Oreal Concealer, as I said, it's drugstore, it's affordable, but it's a really, really good, nice, creamy, full coverage concealer. I absolutely love it. The OPV Spotlight 
Beauty, the OPV Beauty Spotlight Eyeshadow Palette. Everything just blended out nicely today. Nothing was patchy, nothing skipped on me. So I really enjoyed working with this eyeshadow palette today. All right, guys, so if you like the makeup, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, but you absolutely love your makeup, make sure that you subscribe and join the family here in Makeup Land. So until next time, I want you to have a fabulous week. I want you to be fantastic as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.